Alright, so I've had quite a while to play with both of these earphones and let me tell you, they are really, really awesome. They're very powerful, especially for their price. You're pretty much getting pro headphones for a nice consumer price, which most people can afford. Um, they've got uh, headphones ranging from $50, which is obviously the AJ's one uh, on the left there, up to hundreds of dollars. Uh, but of course, I've only got the TJ's three here, which is 139 So that's pretty much the price range. Um, but they have it even more expensive than 139 So let's get into the actual uh, quick review of these beautiful uh, headsets. They're both designed in Sweden, so that's really good quality stuff. Uh, let's start with the AJ's one. Uh, basically, I kind of love these. They have a tangle-free cable, so it's flat, just like that. Kind of looks like uh, the flat sort of spaghetti pasta thing that you get uh, in the packet. But it's really awesome, and it doesn't feel flimsy at all. It's got a nice uh, rubber grip to it, and uh, they just look really awesome. Uh, I do enjoy it. They ha like I said, they have the uh, int the changeable uh, earbuds, so no matter what your uh, your ear uh, ear canal size is, you can actually fit it onto that, and it will not be a problem for you. Um, obviously, this is the lower range of the uh, TJ's. This is the TJ's one. So pretty much every range uh, of the J's headphones. Uh, have, you know, a 1, 2, and 3. So there'll be the AJs, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, TJs, 1, 2, and 3. VJs, 1, 2, and 3. I'm not sure exactly their range, but that's how it works. So 1 obviously being the cheapest model, 2 being the intermediate model, and 3 being the um, most expensive advanced model with all the bells and whistles in it. So uh, as for the TJs 1, they're very, very comfortable. These fit my ears perfectly. Now, I've never actually found in-ear headphones um, which actually fit in my ear and stay in my ear, but these actually do stay in my ear. Uh, and it's really good uh, because, well, that's what you need. And the sound quality is awesome. These Jay's headphones have awesome sound quality uh, and the bass is great. Uh, can't complain about that. But the TJ's 1, as you can see, uh, it's one standard length, which is, it's around about, I guess maybe a meter in length the whole cable so it's it's really good if um, if you're well an average height if you're too tall or too short uh, you may have either if you're too tall you might have a, a short cable or if you're too uh, short then you might have a lot of excess cable hanging down but that's fine you can always uh, tuck it in behind the shirt the main thing is the headphones the sound quality is great and they feel great for fifty dollars you're getting some really uh, pro headphones for a nice consumer price, and I really recommend the uh, AJ's One uh, if you're starting out, or even just for some good quality headphones. Uh, let's move on to the TJ's Three, which is the higher end of the TJ's range. Uh, as you can see, it's a different look to the AJ's, um, and there is no flat cable. It's just the uh, regular cable that you'd get on uh, that you'd find on headphones. Now, as you move down the cable here, you find that, uh, like I showed you in the unboxing, you have this that clips off. So the, this is basically a separate cable. Uh, so basically, if if you're too um, if you're too tall, and uh, and the actual cable itself, the actual earphone cable itself is too short, which it pretty much will be, even if you're very short, unless you're a child, uh, you will need this extra long. Uh, attachment that they give you, which is really nice. Most companies don't give you that choice. Um, they're very, very comfortable, and uh, just like the AJ's One range, they have their own uh, earbuds, which you can take off and uh, and change depending on your size, which is really good. Um, like I said, the design is different. Uh, it has a gold-plated uh, stereo jack at the end, as you can see, and it also has a gold-plated stereo uh, jack on the uh, interchangeable extension there, which is really nice. Now, the sound quality on these are amazing. The bass is, is great. Much better than the TJ's one, obviously, because of the higher price range. These are very pro, uh, very good bass. Uh, noise cancelling, I believe they're noise cancelling. Um, 
I did have a problem though where they kept falling out of my ears. I don't know if that was just because I was using the wrong earbud size, but I mean, otherwise they were great. I have to say, I really enjoyed using both of these, and uh, the cable has a nice sort of uh, rubber grip to it, so that it feels very sturdy, which is very nice in, in, in a good pair of headphones. And uh, let's talk about some of the accessories, because these come with some accessories that the uh, AJ's One does not come with. Obviously, I showed you in the unboxing, um, it, came, it, it came with... Uh, it came with a, um, a travel kit, pretty much, travel extension pieces. So it comes with the aeroplane adapter, so that's the two-pin stereo jack that goes into your seat on the plane. Uh, so you could pretty much listen to the in-flight entertainment uh, with your great quality uh, um, earphones. And it also has a splitter, so if you want to share whatever you're listening to with a mate, you can pretty much uh, split the audio and let them plug in their own little thing. Now, another thing which I didn't go through in the unboxing was this little sort of half circular shape here. And basically what this is, I didn't know this, but it's a case. It comes with an awesome little case. Sort of a little Pac-Man case, <laughs> which is really awesome. That's what I like to call it, the little Pac-Man case. Now, this is really awesome because most headphones do not come with a case, uh, but since these are the higher end headphones, they come with a case. I mean, face it, you're spending, you're gonna throw out $139 for some really good quality headphones, you wanna protect them. So this is a really nice case, uh, you can pretty much fold them in, and they fit straight in there, then you close it up, and you can fit this in your pocket, it's really small. Uh, it's, yeah, you can fit it in your pocket, and it will just work great. So, uh, that's pretty much it for the, uh, AJ's One and TJ's Three uh, headphones. Both of these are great. Uh, they're very professional. They have very good sound. And uh, for a consumer price, obviously the AJ's One, again, being uh, $50 or $49, but uh, if you round it off, I guess it's $50. And the TJ's Three, $139, I believe. So they're very good for what they do. Um, you'd probably have to pay a lot more for something like this in a pro audio brand. But uh, the J's uh, have some great, great uh, earphones and headphones, mind you. They don't just sell earphones, they have headphones, uh, which I don't actually have with me right now, but hopefully one day we'll be able to get them in. So I definitely recommend them. Uh, go out and get them and try them on. you gotta have, you got to see these uh, in person for yourself. And uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So hopefully we'll be able to get more in the future. And uh, once again, thank you to the sponsors, uh, J's, and the guys down at Smart IT, especially Jeremy, for helping me out and uh, getting these into review. So I'll see you later, guys, and have a good day.